<laughs> Just sniffing around. Welcome back. It is time for Pet Line 9. Today we have Casey with the Colorado Animal Welfare League and Soraya. Good morning to you. Good morning. Soraya has been just so sweet while she's been here. Just a curious little pup sniffing around, seeing what's going on. What can you tell us about Soraya? How old is she? So Soraya is about a year, year and a half years old. She came from Texas and was found on living on a mattress. Oh. So yeah, the pictures are heartbreaking. Mm, I bet they are. So she really just needs a family that's going to love her. That's right. She, she needs her forever family. Yeah. She, um, can, she does not do well with small kids. So that's the only caveat. Mm -hmm. Otherwise she gets along with like teenagers, all people, other dogs. We're, we haven't cat tested her officially, mm -hmm. but um, I have a feeling she would be probably a bit skittish around them. Mm -hmm. So um, just not unsure, or just, yeah. we're just unsure about the cats. Yeah, which is, you know, understandable. Oh, Soraya, what is her personality like? So she, as you can see, she's pretty skittish. She's shy, mm -hmm. but um, she has this funny quirk where she likes to yodel. She gets excited <laughs> and she yodels. <laughs> is there a way to make her to do it or is it just kind of, if it happens, it happens? <laughs> it just happens. It just happens. That is goofy. Oh my goodness, Soraya just wants to make sure that her voice is heard. I know, I want to hear it too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is sweet. Does she have a lot of energy? Would she be good in a more active home or maybe a little bit calmer household? What do you think? Um, probably more active home. I mean, she's so young mm -hmm. that, I mean, if she has another dog to play with or whatever, she would do really well with the le level of energy and her age. Yeah, yeah. What other needs do you guys have right now? In terms of adoption at the shelter and... <sighs> um, I don't know where to begin. <laughs> yeah, I bet, I bet. Um, there's so many, so many pets in need of yeah. forever homes. Yeah. So um, that's why we're here and hoping to get as much exposure as possible on these sweet pups and try to get them their forever home. Mm -hmm. And if someone wants to take home Soraya, how can they do that? They go to coloradoanimalwelfare.org mm -hmm. and she will be on their website. And she's available... Like right now? She's a, re yep, she sure is. Wonderful. Well, we have all of your information posted on our website, 90s.com. Thank you so much for coming Thank in. It you. was great to have you in Soraya. Thank you so much. <laughs> the World Health Organization recently put mental health into the spotlight for World Mental Health Day, but mental health awareness is something that we really should be looking at year round. Here to help us create more awareness on this topic, we have Dr. Joe Horvath, a psychiatrist with the Mind Spa Denver. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. Uh, we all know why mental health is so important, but I'm really interested in a doctor's perspective and why it's so important. Yeah, so mental health and mental illness, it, it affects how we think, how we feel, and how we act. It impacts our relationships with those around us and our quality of life. Uh, one out of four Americans struggle with some form of mental illness, and the thing is that there's a lot of safe and effective treatments out there. I think that it's easy to see maybe when other people are struggling, but we don't often reflect as, as much on ourselves. How can we realize that we are struggling ourselves? Great question. So being very honest with ourselves and, and checking in how our energy levels, are we, how are we managing and coping with stress in our lives? Have there been any changes? And you're right, mental illness or mental health symptoms are like that blind spot in the mirror of the car. Like, we might not see it, yeah. but the people around us do. So taking into consideration what family and friends are saying and reflecting back to you. Yeah, yeah, that's great advice. Mm -hmm. You know, we do so many things for our physical health, right? We work out, we yeah. exercise, we eat healthy. But what can we do for our mental health to make sure that we're still staying sharp there? Yeah. A lot of those same things, taking care of our body, giving ourselves time to relax and rest and recover. There's such a drive to keep pushing um, and engaging in things that give us fulfillment outside of just work and, and relationships. Yeah. Dr. Horvath, do you have any advice for starting this conversation? Sometimes it could be a little bit uncomfortable. Some people don't like to talk about it. What are some easy ways that we can just get that conversation going? Because once we get it going, then we can keep the ball rolling. You're right, so if you see something, say something, and, and reflecting back to people, like what you're experiencing, like, hey, I notice you just, you, you seem a little off lately, or you're down, what's going on? Giving people that space and being non-judgmental so they, they can feel heard. And when people are struggling with mental health issues, it's oftentimes hard for them to reach out. 
So by giving them that space and also letting them know that it's okay not to be okay. Yeah, I think sometimes people just need a listening ear, right? Correct. Yeah, yeah. What are some other ways or places that people can go if they need help? There's the crisis line 988. Um, if there's any safety concern, um, any si concern about suicidality or something that's going to do something to hurt themselves or others, calling 911 or going to the emergency department. Um, we also have mindspotdenver.com, which has, has resources. We are running an educational series on mental health and mental illness that's run by Dr. Ron Schwankler. Uh, that's available for patients and for loved ones to have a better idea what they're going through and what's going on. Uh, the next one's November 15th. Uh, the class is about 60 to 90 minutes. It costs about $30, and you can call the phone number on our website to get more information or to sign up. Awesome, and we have all of your information on our website, 90s.com. Dr. Horvath, thank you so much for being here. Great insight and information.